Welcome to Wired. Thank you so much for checking and clicking this video. If this is your first time here, Wired is a uh, video online service that we do for our families of Park Street Baptist Church, where I go to. My name is Terry, you are most welcome. If you're a regular watcher, I appreciate you so much that you've come back. Um, pray that, uh, I hope and pray that your week went well uh, back at school for those that went back to school the first full week. I uh, hope that you knew that God was with you, you felt God with you, um, you casted all your anxieties, fears, worries, concerns onto him. He knows your, your, how you're feeling and I just hope you communicated to him and, and know he's there with you, that's firstly. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start our I Am uh, series in a moment, but before I do that we're going to play a game. So today's game, we're going to play sort of I Am Games, our I Am statements, we're going to play I Am Games. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read out some statements and uh, it's called What Am I? Once I've read that, hopefully the question should come at the bottom so you have more thinking time. After I've done that, and we're going to go into a Who Am I? I'm going to show some pictures of um, some people and you have to guess who they are. Once that's going on, after that, I will reveal the what am I questions because you might want some more time to think about them. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll do the what am I am questions. Then we'll go to who I am uh, pictures. We'll do the who I am answers. And then I'll go on to the what I am question. Just follow through. If none of that makes sense, it'll all be fun. So the first what am I statement is, I demand answers but ask no questions. Say that again. I demand answers but ask no questions. What am I? Hmm, that's one. Second, what am I question? Everyone has me, but no one can lose me. Hmm, what am I? Everyone has me, no one can lose me. Third, what I am is, I am light as a feather, yet no one can hold me for long. What am I? I am as light as a feather, yet no one can hold me for long. What am I? Have a think, discuss. Whilst we do that, I'm just going to grab my blue tack. One sec. <laughs> I'm going to show up some pictures now, and you have to guess who these people are. And I'm going to stick them up here. This is my amazing board, <laughs> cupboard board. Uh, uh, let's see how we get on. First one. Who is this? Next one. Who is this? Ooh, other way. Hope you can see my printer did try and run out of ink. The line sent put you off. Next one. Who is this <laughs> Next one And the last one. <laughs> uh, some of you younger folk might want to ask your parents who this is. They should know. So 
So I'm going to reveal these answers and you can talk about the what are I am questions we had a moment ago. You probably got them quickly, but I thought just in case you have some more time. First one, Aslan. Second one, uh, this is from Chronicles of Narnia. This one, Star Wars, Watto from Star Wars. This one, Goomba from Super Mario. I've just lost one, let me go get it. This one is Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. And this one, Hulk Hogan. Well done if you got those right. Now, the uh, I am questions, what am I questions. The first one was, I demand answers, but ask no questions. What am I? It was a telephone. The second one was, everyone has me, but no one can lose me. What am I? It was a shadow. And the last one was, I am as light as a feather, yet no man can hold me for long. What am I? Breath. Uh. No, can't do it for long, I was going to do it longer, but you'd probably be bored. So, there are the answers. Well done for all those who got those right. It is now time for our Bible slot. And I thought I'd start this morning with sharing with you the seven I am statements of Jesus, as I kind of gave you some homework last week. And for all those that did it, well done. I'm just going to tell you all the seven I am statements that Jesus says in the book of John. First one is, I am the bread of the life. The second one is, I am the light of the world. The third one is, I am the door. The fourth one is, I am the good shepherd. The fifth one is, I am the resurrection. Sixth one is, I am the way, the truth and the light. And the seven, seventh is, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those are the seven statements. I am statements of Jesus. Uh, what I thought we'd do to start this series is we're going to go back to the Old Testament. And the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at Exodus 3. And I'm going to read from Exodus 3 from verse 13. And it says this, Then Moses said to God, If I come to the people of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they asked me, what is his name? What shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, "This say this to the people of Israel. I am, he has sent you. So what's going on here? So God gave Moses a big job to do. He told Moses to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt to Mount Sinai and then to the promised line of Canaan. But before Moses could confront Pharaoh, he had to first get the confidence of his fellow Israelites. So why does God want to be known as I am? I am by itself implies, implies an existence different from all other existence. I am, there is none besides me. I am simply I am. So. The reason we're looking at the I am statements of Jesus is God says I am because God is whatever is lacking in our lives or time of need. Therefore, the name I am makes allows us to fill in the blank, to meet our need. When you're in dark, one of the I am statements of Jesus is I am the light. So when we're in the darkness, he is our light. So he's not bound by anything. He is simply I am. And I am is a special name for God. Because if we turn to John 8, verse 58, it says, Jesus said to them, to the people he's talking to, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. So they began to pick up stones and throw at him. But Jesus hid himself. 
So what's going on here? For Jesus to say, I am, that people would have known what he's saying. That he is saying that he is divine. He was before Abraham. He was around before the time of Abraham. He's divine. He is God, is what he's saying here. And they knew that. And they were outraged he said it. That's why they began to pick up stones. So that's a little insight into the I am part of it. So these aren't just simply, I am the bread of life. It's saying something significantly more. God, a significant power, a being, is the bread of life. Life of this world, the way of truth and life. They're not just statements, they are so much more than that. So that was my message for today. Uh, we're going to look at the first I am statement next week, which I am the bread of life. And there's reasons why as well he uses the language that he uses. And we'll look at that next week. Uh, let me pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time. Uh, I pray for everybody watching this video that they would get more wisdom and knowledge of you. Uh, to have a deeper understanding and relationship uh, for you. Lord, I lift them uh, in their schools or place of work, uh, wherever they're at, Lord, that you are with them, comfort them, guide them. Uh, they know that you're with them through whatever circumstances are coming their way. But we just pray that we have a deeper relationship with you. We're, we, we, we're looking at this to get to know who Jesus really is. And I pray that would be upon our hearts. And we would all know really how amazing Jesus is. I pray this in your name. Amen.